citizen. I'm warning your presence. If you know any true sons of God, be gone. <laughs> open. Wiggins, I can handle. But this talk of dragons? World gone mad, I say. You need the samples. Well, the finest mead. Take a look. You're in the right place. Take a look. Mm hmm. You need if you want to buy something, go find Sab Yorn. Otherwise, piss off. To tell you the truth, Sab Yorn isn't much of an owner. Slave driver, sure. If you're looking to Well, we're a small meadery, but Gr Malice is teaching me everything he knows about brewing. Hopefully, I can take over his position someday.
hold it. This here's a toll road, see? You're gonna have to hand over, say, 200 gold if you want to use our road. Ha! Huh. Tough talk for someone who's about to have their guts spilled. Now ain't this a surprise?
I want to be on the right side. I want to be on the right side. That's close enough. I'm warning you, back off! Horses, all day long. Do you have any idea how dull horses are? If the guards would listen to Viola, they'd have caught the butcher by now. off me. our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the Stormcloaks. But we haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight, little spy. We got ways of finding out what you really are. Do you hate the Dark Elves? Are you here to bully us and tell us to leave? You've come to the wrong city, then. Windhelm's a haven of prejudice and narrow thinking. Unworthy of one such as you. Nothing new there. Most of the Nords living in Windhelm don't care much for us. But Wolf is the worst by far. He likes to get drunk and walk around the Grey Quarter yelling insults at us in the small hours of the morning. Oh, a real charmer, that one. Some of these Nords will come up with any excuse to despise us. And it isn't just the Dark Elves they hate. They make a target of the Argonians as well. In fact, just about anyone who isn't a Nord is fair game for their bullying. Safe travels. Name's Nils. I'm the cook up at Candlehearth Hall.
one of the best soldiers in the Stormcloak army, until I took a sword to the chest. I'd be out there fighting the Imperials, right? Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. See ya. Wait. I know you. Wait. I know you. There's no mistake. You're a wanted man, and it's time to pay for your crimes. Good enough. I'll just confiscate any stolen goods you're carrying, then you're free to go. Mm -hmm. True, what everyone is saying. That Aventus Artino is doing the Black Sacrament, trying to summon the Dark Brotherhood? Do you know my father? He's real. His name is Torsten Krulsey. He's really rich, because he owns a farm called Hollyfrost. He told me once that he wanted me to grow up and be a sailor, because that's where all our family names come from. But I don't want to be a sailor or a farmer. I want to be a warrior! The strongest one ever! Fine! Then I'll invite him out to play. He lives right there. I'm going to knock on his door. I huh. try to keep him right. safe. I knew it. He's These trying to have somebody killed. This time. All right. I won't deny it, child. What you heard is true. Taventus Oratino walks a dark path. His actions can lead only to ruin. Now, enough. We will speak no more of this. I am the only friend you need. Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child. You've come at last! I knew you would! It worked! I knew you'd come! I just knew it! I did the Black Sacrament over and over with the body and the things, and then you came, an assassin from the Dark Brotherhood! Of course you are! I prayed, and you came. And now you'll accept my contract. My mother, she, she died. I, I'm all alone now. So they sent me to that terrible orphanage in Riften, Honor Hall. The headmistress is an evil, cruel woman. They call her Grella the kind, but she's not kind. She's terrible to all of us. So I ran away and came home and performed the Black Sacrament. Now you're here. And you could kill Grawlob the Kind! It worked! I knew you'd come! I just knew it! Please don't kill Constance the show. She really is kind. Honor Hall Orphanage in Riften.
your sake. I hope you took that armor from a dead Imperial scout. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet robe. A few septims for my son. Spare a coin for an old woman, my lord. Up to no good, are we? I'll teach you. But it'll cost you. The spare up to no good, are we? I'll teach you. But it'll cost you. Great answer. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. The Empire is putting a great deal of pressure on White Run. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. The Stormcloaks are finding that. victory across the land. How long are you going to wait? You think I need to send Bolgroff a stronger message? If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet. Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more powerful statement, don't you think? So we're ready to start this war in earnest then? Soon. I still say you should take them all out like you did dead King Torig. Torig was merely a message to the other Jarls. Whoever we replace them with will need the support of our armies. We're ready when you are. <clears throat> Things hinge on Whiterun. If we can take the city without bloodshed, all the better. But if not... The people are behind you. Many, I fear, still need convincing. Then let them die with their false kings. We've been soldiers a long time. We know the price of freedom. But people are still weighing things in their hearts. What's left of Skyrim to wager? They have families to think of. How many of their sons and daughters follow your banner? We are their families. Well put, friend. Tell me, Godmar, why do you fight for me? I'd follow you into the depths of oblivion. You know that. Yes, but why do you fight? If not for me, what then? I'll die before elves dictate the fates of men. Are we not one in this? I fight for the men I've held in my arms, dying on foreign soil. I fight for their wives and children whose names I heard whispered in their last breath. I fight for we few who did come home, only to find our country full of strangers wearing familiar faces. I fight for my people. Impoverished to pay the debts of an empire too weak to rule them, yet brands them criminals for wanting to rule themselves! I fight so that all the fighting I've already done hasn't been for nothing. I fight because I must. Your words give voice to what we all feel, Ulflik. And that's why you will be High King. But the day words are enough will be the day when soldiers like us no longer needed. I will gladly retire from the world. Were such a day to dawn. Aye. But in the meantime, we have a war to plan. I'm not sure you belong here, friend. Only the foolish or the courageous approach a Jarl without summons. Do I know you? Is that so? Ah, uh, yes. You were with us at Helgen. Destined for the chopping block, if I'm not mistaken. A fair point. Well, you've come to the right place, then. Speak with Galmar. I'm always looking for able fighters. Not everyone can say they made it out of Helgen. Seems we're all branded villains these days. So long as your criminal past stays in the past. And you fight for me with honor and integrity. We'll welcome you into our ranks. Aye. But in the meantime, we have a war to plan.
Speak with Garmar. He'll size you up and see where we can best use your talents. Not entirely true. Though not entirely false, either. Any Nord can learn the way of the voice by studying with the Greybeards. Given enough ambition and dedication. My shouting torque to the ground proved he had neither. However, it was my sword piercing his heart that killed him. told us quite the story. If you made it through all that, you're likely worth something to me. Yeah, but first, tell me, why does a foreigner want to fight for Skyrim? Fair enough, but are you willing to die for your home? Before I can put you to use, I need to know how much you can take. I have a little test for you. That's what I like to hear. So long as you can back up those words with steel. I'm sending you to Serpentstone Island. If you survive, you pass. If you die, well, you weren't going to be much use to me anyway. It's where men have tested their metal for ages. It's a strange rock formation built by the ancients. Something about that place attracts the ice wraiths. You kill an ice wraith out there, and I'll have all the proof I need about you. Only the ones I'm not sure about. This will prove your abilities, but more importantly, it will prove your commitment. We'll see about that, won't we? Here, take this. You need it. Use it on the island. Don't lose it. That's all the help you're getting. Try not to die. I believe Garmar gave you something to do, so go do it. The Stormcloaks are finding victory across the land. For Ulfric? Well, nothing official. Known him for years. He seems to value my thoughts, and I'm grateful for that. I don't really have a mind for war, and I think he likes having an untrained opinion from time to time. Grew up here. Cold as at Mora, but that just grows the beard sticker. Lot of history in these walls. We're trying to make some more. It's a lucky time to be alive. Travel safely. It's dangerous out there. Staying safe, I hope?
reasonable strategy. I view your Well, sir, the hold of Falkwick is fairly vulnerable and blocks the only road from Cyridin. A good point, though. To be sure, my lord, I am not skilled in the art. Townsfolk called me captain because I used to be a sailor. It's good to spend some time on solid land. Yes? Sure. What can I do for you? All right, then. I'm a bard, trained at the Bard's College in Solitude. Wanderers like you should think about applying. Farewell. You didn't hear it from me, but if you want a real drink, try the Corner Club in the Grey Quarter. What do you think you're doing? Did you know that candle on the mantel hasn't gone out in over a hundred years? You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Smart man. Now come along. Spare a coin. Most rewards the same. You know about Talos? He founded the Empire. To receive the blessing of Talos, you have only to pray at the altar. Like anyone, a crisis will push them towards devotion. I've been seeing a lot of the Shatter Shields since they lost their daughter. Helevi Krulsi comes in a lot, but I haven't seen her husband here in years. Ulfric prays for strength. I speak to Captain Lonely Gale, but he doesn't spend much time here. Too busy. The Empire's elven puppet masters never cared much for the idea of a human becoming a divine. So the worship of Talos is outlawed. Skyrim doesn't take kindly to being told what to do. And to try and forget Talos, well, they may as well ordered us all to cut off our ears. Talos, who in life was known as Tiber Septim, united Tamriel and founded the Empire. He was rewarded for his deeds by being joined with the Divines in eternal glory, the only mortal to do so. We worship him that we might follow in his path. We can't literally join him in the heavens, but we may do our best to know them here on Nern. Blessings of RK be upon you. I've spent my life serving Talos. I don't plan to stop now, no matter what the Empire says.
The townsfolk call me captain because I used to be a sailor. If you're looking to pass the time, you can give Kalix to a few septims and gawk at whatever oddity he's come across lately. If you're in need of goods, there's a market. If it's a soft bed and a hot meal you're after, there's Candlehearth Hall. Terrible shame, that. Seems we have a killer on the loose here in Vindhelm. He's claimed three victims that I know of, though maybe there's more that haven't been found yet. All lovely ladies, too. Let's hope the guards find that demon soon and introduce him to the headman's axe. There's an author named Adonato staying at the inn. He's published a few works of historical fiction. The clans Shattershield and Krulsi see most of the gold that passes through the city. And obviously you have Ulfric, the Jarl and future High King. Oh, and that busybody Viola Giordano. She's got her nose in everyone's business, which I guess is one way of being prominent. Well, nothing. At least not anymore. Folk just call me that because of what I used to do. I was a sailor for many a year. I made my coin as a trader, and in time, I bought my own ship. When I retired here in Windhelm, most folk already knew me as Captain Lonely Gale, and the name just stuck. Fair winds and calm seas. That's an old sailor's party. Frost farm outside the city. It's honest work, which is just dull. Everyone says your li hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Whether it's armor you need or a new blade. Come see me. Working in Wendhelm is great. I get to see all the metal things. hammered. Of course I am. What do I look like? A tavern wench? Ah, uh, don't let my words cut you too deep. I've just been working the forge too hard, trying to set this sword up. Jarl wants it to look like an ancient blade. High Queen Friedis ruled over Windhelm in the Second Era, and her sword was legendary. Getting the real sword would be even better than making a copy, but no one wants to risk getting it from its resting place. If you find that sword, Traveler, I'd be grateful. Every bit as sharp as what you'll find in Whiterun. I respect Jorund, but he has the good fortune to work the Skyforge. Something about the fires. Their steel just holds tighter. If that makes any sense. I don't see these troubles as business. This is a labor of honor. To bring Ulfric his rightful glory, I would hammer a thousand shields. Sure as bones, I might just have to. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage?
Don't forget, you find Queen Kratos' sword. I'll reward you. 